Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, and I'm here to talk today about ginger, uh, both ginger supplements, ginger spices. We even recently tested ginger chews. Um, I want you to quickly understand what ginger is, what it does, um, what you need to look for when you're buying ginger, because we found a huge range in the quality of ginger uh, products on the market, uh, and some concerns and cautions with ginger. All of this information, as well as uh, our top pick among these products and all the uh, test results in terms of what we found in these products is in our report on ConsumerLab.com. We've tested over uh, 6,000 products since 1999, um, and all of that is, again, in the report on our site. I'm not going to be naming names here, but I'm going to give you some, some general tips. First of all, what does ginger do? Uh, well, ginger root, typically ginger root powder, sometimes it's as an extract, um, can reduce a nausea, to, particularly for motion sickness. Um, it's used early in pregnancy. Later on, I would be a little concerned because it actually may increase bleeding, um, which is also a concern if you're going to be having surgery. Um, it may also reduce the pain of osteoarthritis in a kind of a moderate, mild way. Uh, the amount of ginger root powder that someone would take per day is about half a gram to one gram. Better to break that up, so if you're taking a gram a day, take half a gram and then another half a gram later on. Uh, the amount, half a gram is about the amount that you'd find in, in a capsule this size. Um, now, ginger has a, a compound in it known as, or compounds known as gingerols. Uh, those are believed to be the active compounds in, in ginger. Those compounds get converted when exposed to high heat um, to shogols. Now, the shogols may have some activity, probably not as much as the gingerols. And a good ginger product chemically will be about 1% uh, gingerols with a little bit of shogols. Unfortunately, uh, some of these products, the majority of those compounds were shogols, meaning that they were probably exposed to excessive heat. Um, and the way that you can actually tell if a product, uh, ginger product has been exposed to too much heat is it gets darker uh, and it also develops more of a burnt taste than that nice ginger taste. Um, if you look at these, these powders uh, here, uh, you can see, and I'll take off the, uh, the, the capsules, this one actually, if you were to taste it, has a burnt taste. This was mostly shogols and not the gingerols that you'd expect and want uh, from a ginger product. Uh, the lighter colored uh, pro, uh, ginger powder here uh, tended to be have, have higher amounts of the gingerols, which is what you want. Um, these two chews, although I, quite, I really enjoyed chewing them, you know, and sucking on them, uh, they have a great ginger flavor. Um, they had very little in terms of gingerols in them, so I wouldn't really count on these ginger chews uh, if you want any kind of like therapeutic effect from uh, ginger. Um, uh, an issue with ginger is lead contamination. It's a heavy metal. It is found in a number of other natural products. It can be absorbed from the ground. Um, we did find that one of these products uh, exceeded our limit for, gin, uh, for lead, also the California uh, Prop 65 limit uh, for, for lead. It actually had, compared to, actually compared to one of the best products that we found among all, all these supplements, it had about three to four times as much lead in terms of concentration. Um, actually, that, the product that I'm comparing it to also was terrific in terms of having a very high level of gingerols and was our top pick among all these products. We also have a top pick among the ginger spices that you can buy for use in preparing foods, the top pick among the supplements as well. Um, we don't really have a top pick among the chews. It's really based on how, what you like in terms of flavor. Again, I wouldn't consider them a great therapeutic kind of a, a ginger product. Um, so that's kind of a quick overview of ginger. Again, you'd want to take, you want to break it up over the day if you're going to be using it therapeutically. About half a gram, which again is about the amount you'd find in one capsule, uh, and then another half a gram later on. Um, all this information is in our report on consumerlab.com, uh, along with our reports on over a hundred different types of uh, supplements and healthy foods. And again, this is Dr. Todd Cooperman. Thanks for your time.